So the final race of the festival already then, and got an name for it, I suppose. It's the Leon van Rensburg Cup, and Leon has had a good week taking the champion hurdle and the gold cup amongst others, and it's a four-mile, four-furlong grade one. This and De Bancherman, Alex Cherry is a top one. Earls Brig for John Morgan, Jafonian Ryan Costello, Cartan Tantalus for Craig Allen, Nay Secret for Derek Hinton, who's also got Nelly done that. Reswan calling for Graham Cutterbuck, the National Awaits, Joshua Sutherland, Blooming Chaser, Darren Thompson, Claire's own John Morgan, Firefox, Leon Van Rensburg trying to win his own race, Midget Camera, David Robertson, and Verge for James Shea. So one or two of these taking a bit of a risk, totally blowing the handicap mark for next week's National. They're away and racing, but on the other hand, you will be able to say you've had a grade one win to your name. So over the first there you go then and they're all safely over it and thrilling week sadly comes to a close all too soon it flies by doesn't it it's Cheltenham Festival in real life as in S07 life it's over in a flash but uh, that one good thing about S07 is that we can have another Cheltenham Festival in about 20 weeks time oh he's gone there no secrets are fallen so no secrets down at the second and the field is down to 12, and Cartan Tantalus is in the lead. Derek Hinton's Cheltenham is not yet over because he's still got nearly done that at the back. So Cartan Tantalus then is the leader with a loose horse in second. Earl uh, Jafonian is second, and Earl's Brig is third as they jump over that one. And a mistake there by Reswan Corlin, who didn't uh, jump it all that well. But Cartan Tantalus is the leader from Jafonian on the outside, second. Earl's Brig is third. Then comes Claire's own Firefox and Verge. Blooming chases after that one. Then Midnight Camera as they take the water. And Reswan Corlin over it in last place. So still an awful long way to go in this final race of the week at Cheltenham. We've still got action to come from elsewhere though after this and Cartan Tantalus comes down to this ditch in the lead. And they get over that Raswan calling again didn't jump it all that well it was a bit ponderous. Would be the best way of putting his jump over that or I think that Cartan Tantalus is the leader and he's preceded by the loose horse now and that time it was Ryan Costello's horse that made the mistake. Jafonian giving it an almighty wallop. So Cartan Tantalus then is in the lead on the inside, but they're not going particularly quickly, and they've got a long way to go though. Earls Brig and Jafonian are disputing second, the Greys Blooming Chase, and then the second of the John Morgan horse is Claire's own. And then Leon van Rensburg's Firefox is on the inside, Verge is next to that one, a bit of a slow jump by Midget Camera in the David Robertson colours has seen that one drop to the back in the yellow cap. But the loose horse is taking them along, followed by the leader, Cartan Tantalus. So Cartan Tantalus then, He's in front from Jafonian second, Earlsbrig third, and Blooming Chaser fourth. And Clear Zone is after that one. As they make their way towards the next, there's 28 fences to take in all in this race, the longest race of the week at Cheltenham, and over it we go. And Cartan Tantalus continues to lead. Eight fences taken, 20 more to take. Cartan Tantalus is the leader. Jafonian is second. The grey blooming chaser is just third ahead of Earl's Brig on the inside fourth. Then there's a little break, about a length and a half, so the rest of them are headed by Verge. He's on his inside, Firefox, and on his outside, Clear Zone. Wide is still is the National Awaits. Then Debancher Man in those Alex Cherry colours. Midnight Camera has made a forward move. Nelly done that in the pink. He's next, and Rezwan Corlin, who's been jumping a little bit dodgily, is the back marker as they take the ninth. All over that one, okay. This time, that's a very short run to the tenth. And you see them all over that one. You can see the stand, plenty of people who are around for the last race. And now they're going to swing out left handed, but not for one more complete circuit because they've got two more complete circuits to go. And you can see them racing away towards that cross fence there. And Cartan Tantalus on the inside of the loose horse continues to lead. Jafoni and a good jump in second. Oh, it was a faller there. He's gone this time, Rezwan Corlin. He's been taking some liberties. He didn't look all that keen, to be honest. He maybe saw the saw the stable block as he was coming past the winning post. And um, the jockey didn't want to pull him up, so he thought, I'll just chuck him off instead. So, where yeah, that goes next week, Gray will have to decide. But it's going to need to jump a lot better than that if it's going to run in the National as they take the 12th. And there's another one gone now. And that's, that's no secret that's gone this time. So... 
It's not his midget cameras are in no secret already gone. So midget camera is out for David Robertson as they take the water. I'm safely over that one as they always are. And Jafonian leads by about a head with a loose horse in between him and Jafo him and Cartan Tantalus. Then comes Blooming Chaser back in in third as they take that ditch. And they're all over that one okay as well. With Jafonian in front by length. Carthan Tantalus second. Gap of about three or four then to Blooming Chaser, then Earl's Brig as they take the 15th. Clear zones after that one, making a forward move near his Debancher man. And then the National Awaits and nearly done that. Verge is the back marker. We've lost three already. We've still got well over two miles to go. And Jafonian in the lead. From Carthan Tantalus as they take this ditch. Skip over that one nicely. Cartan Tantalus got back in the back in front again now. From well, Jafonian in second. Blooming Chaser back in third. And then Debancher Man and Earl's Brig. The last of the in clear zone. Nelly done that. Firefox. And a little gap back to Verge at the back. Two miles left to race. Cartan Tantalus has now suddenly found himself four or five lengths clear as Jafonian begins to beat a retreat and take the tw Oh, he's gone there, Jafonian. He just looked as though he was starting to tire and drop him back and he just didn't bother to take off that time and he becomes the next one to go. And Firefox has gone as well, so I didn't notice that one. Firefox may have been just put off there by the Jafonian falling, but Firefox has also departed the race. So Leon Van Rensburg's Stella Week will end with his jockey on the turf and then trudging back to the weigh-in room. Uh, he's not going to win his own race, but he's uh, still had a good week though. And Cartan Tantalus is the leader by about four or five lengths to Blooming Chaser in second as they take the 18th. And this is an action-packed dramatic race, isn't it? Uh, we've lost five of them. And we've still got a circuit to go. Over that one we go. And Cartan Tantalus has been in the lead pretty much all the way. With Blooming Chaser, the grey, now in second. The National Awaits is creeping much closer in third. Then comes Nelly done that and Debancher Man and Clear Zone. And then Earl's Brig and Verge, they're queuing up to challenge Cartan Tantalus. But they've still got to get to him and he's skipped over that one nicely in the lead. Clear Zone is over in second. John Morgan usually a pretty safe bet in these long distance races his jumpers haven't really been firing this week but he's still got this opportunity in this race and Cartan Tantalus is in the lead by a couple of lengths to clear zone in second and Earl's Brig in third National Awaits is four and then Debanchamans after that Nelly, Nelly Dunn that's the next one as they take the 21st and they're all over that one safely as well with Cartan Tantalus lead down to just about three parts of a length then to clear zone who's gone second the field is beginning to bunch and you wouldn't rule any of these out at all the ones that are still on their feet are all still in it they skip over the water for the final time and Cartan Tantalus leads by about a head clear zone is in second Earl's Brig third National awaits four Debancher Man five Nelly done that six Blooming Chase has just dropped back a little bit in seventh and a couple of loose horses and finally Verge as they take this ditch and they're all safely over that one as well and there's probably only eight to ten lengths between first and last and he's all Almost three in a line now. Cartan Tantalus Earl's Brig and Clear Zone with National Awaits just tucked in behind. They take this. Oh, mistake there by Clear Zone. Has seen Earl's Brig take it up. So Earl's Brig then goes on by a badder length to Clear Zone in second. The National Awaits is now moving into third. Cartan Tantalus suddenly comes under pressure. De Bancherman is now really making a forward move. Nelly done that. Isn't out of it. Verge has gone past. Blooming Chaser. They've got six furlongs to go. This is the 25th. Oh, out the gun. There's another one gone. There's another one gone there. Cartan Tantalus has gone. The long time leader crashes out with three fences to take then. And it's a 1 2 for John Morgan at the moment. Earl's Brig in the lead. Clear Zone is second. Blooming Chaser and Virgin now coming through from the back. Then Deban Shaman and the National Awaits. Nelly done that. All of these still in with a chance with three more fences to take then. And it's Earl's Brig from Virgin who's moved into second. Virgin has gone second. Clear Zone is third. Then National Awaits and Deban Shaman. Then Nelly done that and Blooming Chaser. Still three to jump. Racing down towards this third last fence now then. And over that one they go in a good jump by Earl's Brig. Sees him take a length out of Virgin. It's Earl's Brig in the lead. Earl's Brig then from Virgin in second. Clear Zone is 
in third, trying to battle back. These three have gone clear. It's surely between these three as they race down towards the final two fences then. In the final race, in the first S07 Cheltenham Festival. And it's Earls bringing the lead. Claire's own is second. Verge is third. There's a big gap of five lengths then to De Bancherman. Nearly done that. And the National Awaits blooming chaser is tailing off. They're beginning now to turn towards the final two fences. And it's a battle between the Morgan pair at the moment. Claire's own and Earls Brig with behind them. Verge still trying to get into it at the second last they go. And Earls Brig lands in the lead. It's Earls Brig from Claire's Own and Verge a three-way battle as they take the last. And Earls Brig he gone. Claire's Own's gone. Earls Brig in the lead. Verge is now trying to close. It's Earls Brig. Earls Brig by about a length and a bit racing now inside the final furlong. It's Earls Brig. Verge is getting closer. Earls Brig needs the line. Verge is closing. It's Earls Brig on the inside. Verge on the outside. It's Earls Brig and Verge is going to be close as they hit the line. It's going to be Earls Brig. Is it going to be Verge? It's going to be close. It's very close. It's impossible to call. What a race to end the Cheltenham Festival. And um, goodness knows which one of those two is one I haven't got a clue. It's definitely on the nod. And Verge might have got up. Might just have got up to take it. According to that, he's got up to take it. But this could be a dead heat. It is, it's a dead heat, it's a dead heat in the final race of the Cheltenham Festival. Verge for James Shea and Earlsbrick for John Morgan. What a dramatic week, and what a dramatic end to a dramatic week as well. James Shea takes it with Verge, and John Morgan takes it as well with Earlsbrick. They share the spoils. Nelly done that for Derek Hinton, third. De Bancherman for Alex Cherry, fourth. The National Awaits for Joshua Sutherland was fifth. And Fallers Galore, Claire Zone, unseated a rider at the last. Might well have even got up and beaten both of those two what a dramatic end to the festival i hope you've all enjoyed it as much as Stu and i have done doing the commentating and it's all on next season